Let's install this water pump. Hey, glad you're here. I'm John Andrews, and this 2012 WRX had yet another surprise in store for me. Little did I know that at this point, life was about to get difficult. I'm about to experience the five stages of grief. Let's watch the trouble begin. I'm going to get these up to, let's see here. We're doing around 50 to 75 first. Inch pounds. With a long torque wrench like that, I can't tell by feel really how tight it is, you know, because it's so long of a handle. So how tight does this feel? Yeah, it did feel like it could go a little bit tighter. So let's see what the uh, torque wrench says. All right, so that's... about 50. Yeah, I don't want to go much more than 50 inch pounds because the just the way it feels, it's like, that feels tight for a six millimeter. I mean, just going off of feel. Well, maybe that one can go a little bit more. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'd go more than 80. Yeah, 109 inch pounds, that's a little much. Yeah, for a six millimeter thread into aluminum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... Subaru's torque specs on this water pump are really too tight. So this one right here won't go past 20 inch pounds. Well, okay, so this, this one right here is stripped out and this one right here below it is also stripped out. Just keeps on turning. So those two I'll have to get a time cert for. I have to take out this water pump again for the thread repair. And next time we won't torque the bolts so tight, even though the spec. Yeah, look at that. That's not good at all. All right, look at this. You have, yep, stripped out. Here, look how far you can just push it in. Here too. Because you can just shove it in like that and pull it out. Here, here's where the uh, here's where the threads went. Is that a helicoil? That looks like a helicoil. Well, we're going to do a better repair than that this time. All right, first thing I got to do is put some cutting oil in here. This drill has a square end on it, so I'll just use my tap driver socket and use the tap guide, which is uh, going to help me get this hole started perpendicular. Feels like it bottomed out. All right, let's check this with my sophisticated depth gauge. That's how deep it is, that's how long the insert is, and we're good. Next step is the counter bore. Let's put some cutting fluid on it. That feels like it's done. Next thing we'll do is tap using the tap guide. So let's put some cutting oil on this on this tap here. 
Oops. So hold this flush. Wish there was a way to like clamp it in. <laughs> It started. Put a little cutting over foil in there. Okay, that felt a little resistive, so there, that might be the end of the hole. All right, here's my gauge of how deep it is. I put the tap guide on it. I've got about that much room. Let's pull this out and see how deep it is. All right, that looks good. Yeah, that's down to the bottom of the hole. All right, let's clean this out. Instead of motor oil, I'm putting anti-seize on the driver tool. They call this the driver tool. This is not a tap. This just has threads and it expands the insert out so that it jams it in there. So let's put the insert on the driver tool. And now I'm gonna put thread locker on there to hold it in. All right, and here goes the insert. There we go. All right, let's drive this in. The insert is bottomed out pretty much now. Now we're just driving the driver through it to expand the insert to jam it in there. And it got easy and then it hit the bottom. You don't want to go hard past that. Let's pull the driver tool out. The, the insert is staying in. There we got one successful thread repair. Done. Let's clean this up a little bit. And I can see what it looks like without the goo on it. There you go. Repaired. All right, I'm gonna use this tap guide to help keep the drill bit fairly straight lined up. Let's see, that's just barely enough to start it, but I can tell by how the tap guide rocks whether I have the uh, drill bit on straight. So I'll start right there. It's started, so we'll finish it out. The same angle, hopefully that stays straight. My battery tired. Yeah, my battery's done. Let's check the depth gauge. Okay, we're in that far. That's as far as the first one. Good. Okay, next we'll do the counter bore. A little bit of cutting oil. Do this till it hits the stops. Yeah, that hit the stops. Let's clean off the chips. A little bit of cutting oil. Got our tap guide onto the tap. Press that against there flush so we can feel where it's straight. Okay, that's straight. And start cutting threads going in pretty easy. Now I'm going to back up since it looks like I have no more room left on my tap guide. Take the tap guide off. Finish it up the rest of the way after I clean this off. A little bit of compressed air worked great to clean off the tap. So now the tap's clean, I'll keep on going. Let me just start off like this with just the tap. Probably could have started with the tap guide, but it's, it's going in right on the threads. I gotta be careful to stop when I hit the end of the hole. It's it's not real, it's not tough. It's It's got a little bit of resistance because it's cutting the threads. There we go, that felt like it stopped. There we go. Clean out this hole. Let's 
Okay, the instructions say to use more motor oil on the driver tool, but instead of motor oil on the driver tool, I, I like to use anti-seize. Works great. So I put the insert onto the driver tool, and then on the outside of the insert, I like to use a little thread locker. Thread locker helps kind of lubricate it as it's going in. If I can get it started. There, it's pretty much seated. Now we need to drive it the rest of the way in. Now this one, you just gotta be careful that when when it stops, it'll get tight, but then it'll 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 totally stop when you hit the end of the hole. So it'll get tough, or you no, know, you'll feel resistance for a little bit because it's expanding the insert to bind it into the hole, and then it'll get easy. So it's getting easy now. Now it's past the uh, it's past the point where it's seated at all, and it, I just felt it bottom out. So let's take this out and the insert will remain in while I remove the driver tool. There you go, good as new. Now 40. All right, this is 60 this time. Okay, now for 80. I'm just gonna go around to do 80 again. Okay, 90 inch pounds is within spec, barely, on the low end. I just had to double check, make sure they're all at 90. Am I feeling brave enough to go to 95 inch pounds? I'm gonna go all the way around again, 95. Here's the root cause of the stripped threads. The previous guy who worked on it mixed in two timing cover bolts on the water pump. The timing cover bolts were five millimeters longer than the water pump bolts and bottomed out in the hole. Maybe he tried to force the bolts down the last couple millimeters. 